Hello, children of God. I have something I've been practicing that I want to show you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Did you see the symbol that I made there? My hands made a long line coming down and a short line coming across. So I made a cross. And that's what it's called, making the sign of the cross. Now, that's a symbol. It's a short action, but it has a big idea behind it. When we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we're remembering important things about our God, that He's God the Father, Son, and Spirit, but only one God, right? It's just one symbol. It also reminds us of our baptism because you've probably heard the pastor talk about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and making the sign of the cross over someone's forehead and over their heart. It's a symbol that reminds that person being baptized or the baby being baptized, or the parents there, but it reminds everyone else sitting there and watching. It reminds us about God the Father, Spirit, and Son. Now, I included a video for you. If you want to learn how to do it, it has a nice song with it. In some churches, they do the sign of the cross several times during the service. And it's okay to do the sign of the cross in our church too. The best time to do it is when pastor's talking about the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But you can do it anytime. Um, you can do it with your family devotions. You can do it when you first wake up in the morning to remind you that you're God's child. You can do it at night before you say your prayers. There's many times when we can do that short symbol to remind us that we're children of God. Now, symbols, those small pictures that have big ideas, they're everywhere. Um, for instance, your, your favorite team probably has a logo. That's a symbol. And when you see that symbol, it reminds you about everything that you like about that team, doesn't it? When we see symbols in church, it reminds us about important things about God. In our church right now, we have symbols like these drops of water on the baptismal font. That reminds us of baptism because baptism has water and there's three drops. And what are they for? You're right, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, aren't they? We also see symbols like um, banners, like this dove that reminds us of the Holy Spirit, or symbols that we might not understand at first, um, like the Alpha and Omega that's on our pulpit. The Alpha and Omega are two Greek letters. One of them looks kind of like our A, and the other one looks like an O that someone didn't finish at the bottom. And when we put those two letters together on top of each other, they remind us that God has no beginning and He has no end, that God has just always been. So it's a great symbol to have on the pulpit when our pastor is teaching us about God. That symbol, that little picture, reminds us of a big idea. So in our new sanctuary, we're going to have lots of symbols. And I'm so glad because not only do those symbols help to remind us of important things, but they're great ways for us to teach other people about important things about God. So we have an artist working on symbols for the furniture. We have an artist working on symbols on the banners and the pyramids, those cloths on the altar and the pulpit. And we have an artist who's working on symbols for the windows. We don't have windows in our current sanctuary that we really notice. But in our new church, we will have windows. So in your um, devotion bag, I've included a picture of a church window because church windows often have symbols. You've also got some craft foam. And what I'd like you to do with your family is to think about all the symbols you can remember. You could think about the cross, 
You could think about the dove. You can think about um, Alpha and Omega if you want to be pretty spiffy and learn something new. You can think about the star. We usually have a star symbol at Christmas or a butterfly or a lily at Easter. Think about those symbols. Draw them on the craft foam and cut them out and glue them onto the window. And then you could maybe tape this window up uh, on your bedroom window or put it up on your refrigerator and remember those symbols, those little pictures that have big ideas. Now, I included some other symbols in your bag. You will notice there's a, there's a handful of crosses. Crosses are the most often used symbol for those of us who are Christians. And Christians are people who believe in Christ, people who believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Crosses have so much meaning for us. We look at a cross and we remember Jesus' death and resurrection. We remember that we're part of God's family. We remember the wonderful things that God has done for us. There is so much meaning in this little symbol. Now, I've included another video that's about crosses and symbols. If you want to see some different kinds of crosses and hear about some other symbols, Two cool things in the video are, number one, there's a cross on every Oreo cookie. And number two, there is a football team that has a logo that is a Christian symbol. So there's two good things to listen for in that video. But you might ask, why did I include all these crosses? Well. Again, that cross is a very important symbol for us. So I want you to think about what you can do with these crosses to use them as symbols. Maybe you want to put a cross someplace where you'll see it first thing in the morning. Like you might put it by the coffee machine so your parents see that first thing. Um, if you're me, I have to get up and stumble around and find my glasses and get to the bathroom. So I might put it right by my bathroom mirror as a reminder to me first thing in the morning. Or maybe you want to put it by your bed so that you can look at it as you go to sleep. What else could you do with these crosses? Could you give a cross to someone that you know is having a difficult time? Maybe somebody who's sick? or somebody who's worried about something in their life, or someone who doesn't feel very loved, you can give them a cross and you can tell them about Jesus' love and let them know that you're praying for them. You're bringing them into the family then when you're praying for them. And that's an important symbol too. You could also put one of these symbols in your pocket as a reminder to you that Jesus is always with you. Or maybe put a piece of string through this little hole up here and hang it from the zipper on your backpack so it's always with you. And then maybe a friend will ask you about that cross and you have a chance to share with them. I like that idea of the cross being in your pocket or with you all the time because it goes with our Bible verse. The Bible verse that I want you to say over and over again and think about and pray about so that you put it in your heart is from Matthew 28, 20. And Jesus says, And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Now, if Jesus starts something off with, And behold, you know it's going to be a few words with a big meeting because behold means sit up and take notice of this. So Jesus says, I am going to be with you always, even to the end of the age. So I'll be with you when you're happy. I'll be with you when you're sad. I'll be with you when you're young. I'll be with you when you're old. I'll be with you when you're at home and feeling safe. And I'll be with you when you're someplace where you think you're probably safe, but you're feeling a little bit worried. And I'll also be with you, Jesus says, when you're sharing my love with someone else. Because that's what pastor reminds us that that sanctuary is for. It's a place for us to gather together. 
It's a place for us to be connected and to worship God. It's a place for us to be reminded of God's love. And it's a place for us to bring people who don't know about Jesus so they can hear about Him and be reminded about what a cross means. So as you finish your devotion time together with your family, I want you, your family, to talk together and make a list of a couple of people that don't know much about Jesus or need to be reminded about Jesus because their life is difficult right now. Write those names down in a piece of paper and pray for them every time you pray. Add them into your mealtime prayer. Add them into your devotion time. Add them into your bedtime prayer. Because when you remind God, when you remind Jesus of these people, it reminds you also that Jesus is with you always. And He will show you ways to share His love with people who need it. Well, have fun with symbols this week and let those small pictures remind you of your great big God.